Yeah, we'll do some 5-0. Yeah. Yo, that 5 -0 was lit. Got here a rough shot. Yeah, you 916 brass with a quarter pipe. A bad about. <laughs> when men get darts. They're basically knock off uh, connects, which is pretty good. Can't hopper sadly, but they do like breaches. Where'd you get that one? Uh this I got off a Celeste. Yeah. And this is a Louis C3 build. So this is the ref shot version 3, so it has the lathe pump grip, the lathe pieces, and the eternal priming action, mm -hmm. which is pretty nice. That's pretty much it. <laughs> nice. Been my primary for the day. It's been working okay. Definitely a good rushing gun, but doesn't have the range of a rainbow. Edmund, show us your other, what is that, flamethrower hose? That's insane. <laughs> As you can see, it was faster than the darts could deal with. Basically, tri-bladed, but the two, the flywheel motors are XP180s, and the pusher is just a regular blade, and it has worker flywheels. Hoping to upgrade it to a BSP cage to see how actually cannon flywheels work. And it's got some sling points, extended mag release, and a BS UK switch kit. So it has the plate with the micro switches. That's and awesome. And 16 gauge wire throughout. And it's running on a two cell, 1,800 milliamp hours, so good lasting life. Blades being the motor type? Yeah. Or, okay. Blades awesome. being the Pacific 180 style. Five eggs and a bunch of peas as a midday snack. Looks exactly. delicious. All right. <laughs> Hi there. I am Zach Friedman, but my enemies call me Zach the Mac. Today I'm rocking a Scepter, Dr. Pepper tank replacement, of course. Got a uh, tracked pump handle, barrel, just 12 inch uh, 1730 seconds with a little bit of 916 at the end. But the cool part is that I integrated a chronometer or a chronograph into it. Uh, so it'll function as a dart counter and also tell me how fast the shots are going as they, uh, as they leave it. It's still a work in progress, but we're gonna have a little, little OLED display right there. Uh, the hoppers are uh, another, one of my, another one of my designs. These are hopper mags. So you got this uh, 3D printed tongue on a standard hopper, uh, and that's attached using these two screws to some, uh, <laughs> it's a tape measure. And that provides this really nice snappy seal so that I can uh, carry a whole bunch of them into battle. And putting them in is uh, nice and simple. So, Scepter's got one main advantage, which is that you can fire semi-auto. You know, whenever you pull the trigger, it releases this controlled burst of air. So the combination of uh, two or three quick shots with a fast reload uh, lets me uh, engage targets at a uh, medium and, uh, and close range, kind of shoring up the standard air gun gap. Now what will you tell the haters about the Dr. Pepper, about the Dr. Pepper main tank? Very important, this is the stock pump, stock OPRV, kicks in at like 18 to 20 PSI. Uh, the soda bottles should withstand uh, they should withstand almost a hundred. I've been using a compress. I used a compressor to try to blow the rest of these in the six pack out, and I couldn't. But honestly, that's not the failure point. Uh, we're still using the original tubing with the spring-loaded clips. So uh, if if we do have an overpressure situation, it's more likely the seal's going to give up than the uh, than this thing's going to explode. Actually, uh, <laughs> was going to bring this thing with a water bottle, but it was brought to my attention on the. Uh, on the chat room. But, uh, the water bottle is not safe at any kind of pressure. Safety is important. Uh, you can't take for granted that you know everything. And before you bring it to a war, you gotta run it by some uh, some smart nerfers. From an empty tank, you gotta really pump the hell out of it. Uh, the soda bottle is about the same volume as the original tank, so it's like a good 20 or 30. And you can hear the tank. You hear the, uh, the, the OPRB, OPRB kick in. And uh, then you can uh, shoot a couple. One or two are full strength, and it really goes downhill from there.
Next objective, one star. <laughs> 